Welcome back to another daily dose of SAP Analytics Cloud. So this time we're going to take a look how we can schedule the story and use bookmarks. Last time we actually scheduled the story without any bookmarks or filtering options. But remember, our story had an input control and a story filter. So how can we now actually choose which filter values we use or influence the filter values when we schedule it? So the answer is actually bookmarks. So as an example, let's say we take the input control, we choose the first three stores. So now we can actually create a global bookmark. We can save basically the navigation state as a global bookmark. And then later on, we can use this global bookmark when we schedule our story. So we quickly create this global bookmark. We're going to create a second one where we actually choose a different value for the story filter. So let's also go into actually change the story filter. So first we're going to select all stores, go to the story filter, configure the value for just the year 2016. And we're going to actually save that as our second global bookmark. So now you can see we'll have two global bookmarks, one that has all the years and only the first three stores. The second one has the data for the year 2016. So now we go in, we actually set up the scheduling job, but this time we're going to use the global bookmarks for choosing basically the different filter values. So this should look already familiar from the last video I shared around how you can schedule the story. But this time we're going to actually set the filter values. So we quickly fill out the email subject line, the message, and then we go down to the distribution options. And you can see right now we have one view where we actually can enter the recipients, but we're going to have two views, one that sends out basically for the three stores and one that sends out for the one year. And this is the important part. At the story view, you can choose the bookmark. And now you can decide who is receiving basically the data from which bookmark. So right now we configured the one option for the three stores. We quickly enter the name and then we're going to go in and add another view where we choose the bookmark for the year 2016. So here we have the second view. Again, we can enter recipients within SAP Analytics Cloud or outside, and we can actually choose a different bookmark here. All part of one job, but basically the job, this scheduling job will generate two different PDF files. So now we run it and when we then basically receive the two PDF files, we will see that one of the PDF file will show the data for the three stores and one of the PDF files will show the data for the year 2016, but all stores. So here's the one that has the three stores. You can see the selected items on the right hand side and we can also see the appendix with the filter values. So here's the second PDF for the year 2016, but all stores configured and the second page only. In the appendix, we can see basically it's only for one year. So I hope this quick demonstration of how you can use the bookmarks with the scheduling was helpful. And I want to say thank you for watching and listening.